Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's December 11th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, being here. Um, Dan, uh, another week of uh, kind of more of the same, very flat muni yields, uh, very strong demand in the face of a healthy but not overwhelming supply. Uh, how did that play out? Yeah, I think it's you know continuation of the uh, same theme we've seen. Um, last week we were talking a little bit about the rise of rates of, of Treasury rates, and the ten-year uh, getting close to one percent. It did find some support there and rallied, currently at eighty uh, eight basis points, so uh, eleven basis point uh, benefit to the ten-year Treasury. Um, and you saw it similar on the long end where the 30 year is currently at 162, down 12 basis points on the week. So some support on the treasury side. Um, the municipal side, at least on MMD, was uh, uh, sort of very mild benefit. So an improving uh, ratio uh, with 10 year MMD improving one basis point and uh, 30 year MMD improving two basis points on the week. And you saw an adjustment with the, the corresponding adjustment of the ratio on that a little bit more favorable to, toward munis. Um, but I think all of this loses a little bit of, um, of the dynamic that's going on where uh, muni investors, uh, whether it's the institutional side or the retail side, are aggressively looking for uh, any way they can pick up some yield. And I think Brian's going to go through a number of different deals here. Um, but the uh, high yield space in particular, just very, very aggressive appetite for muni bonds in here. Right. And on the, the, the drivers of that demand, we did see Lipper reported that uh, inflows were back up close to a billion dollars this week, kind of rebounding from a slow week uh, during the Thanksgiving holiday. But that's not really the, the driver, right? It's, it's more about uh, cash coming into the market from coupon payments and maturing securities. Yeah, the, the inflows are, are certainly um, adding to it, but I think it, you're, you're right. It, it is very much of a seasonal issue uh, where you hit that December, January period and a lot of cash reinvestment of maturing and coupon payments uh, back into the municipal market. So, Brian, that segues uh, to you. So uh, how is that playing out? What kind of transactions are standing out on the calendar and uh, how did the new issue market go? Yeah, this week was uh, was like you guys mentioned, um, you know, relatively um, decent for you know for December. Uh, you know, I think a lot of uh, people were probably thinking that a lot of this year's supply was pulled ahead of the election, uh, and maybe we would see a little bit more uh, quiet December. But uh, but you know, close to about eleven billion or so price this week. Um, probably another nine or ten uh, to go next week. Uh, but this week, like Dan uh, mentioned, a lot of interesting kind of more high yield, different names that came to market. You know, you had a, almost a billion four crosses, uh, 950 million of the Brightline transaction, um, uh, another 600 million uh, JFK Terminal 4, uh, which if you compare that deal to, uh, to the 200 odd million deal that came the week of Thanksgiving, you know, granted, uh, it's a, uh, not AMT versus AMT, but still, even even netting out the AMT spread, um, you know that that deal came substantially tighter than it did just a couple of weeks ago. So we're continuing to see this uh, uh, spread tightening um, post election. Um, you know, both in the tax exempt and taxable space, uh, there's been tremendous um, headway made uh, in the taxable market where spreads have continued to compress substantially. Um, you know, one of the deals that we priced this week uh, for Have a Straw. Uh, Stony Point School District in New York was a, de a taxable deal, 34 million for a AA3 uh, school district that got tabled um, late October uh, and came back to market this week. Um, so, you know, you see that uh, that progress in the taxable space as well as tax exempts. Um, but, uh, you know, you're just really seeing broad um, depth and strength in the market across the board. Um, you know, there's other plenty of other transactions to highlight, um, like 300 million Yukons that did very well, you know, spreads on that deal came through 50 over, um, for fives, um, which is, uh, you know, very constructive for the market to be at these absolute yields to continue to see spreads tightening. And you mentioned Haverstraw, what other, uh, large band transactions? We had a, a pretty full calendar over 300 million, right? Yeah, BAM had a very active week. We we priced about 320 million in new issue bonds across uh, around 20 transactions. Uh, Haverstraw uh, was one of the highlights. 
Uh, we also did over 100 million of Stratford, Connecticut's. Uh, that was priced by Raymond James. That's A2 AA minus underlying. Um, and then uh, 28 million Triton's uh, Community College District in Illinois uh, was priced by Mesro. So, you know, one of the uh, one of the continuing themes that we've talked about uh, for the last several weeks and months um, is the insurance utilization on higher rated uh, bonds. So, of the hundred of the 320 million that we were used on this week, uh, about 180 million or so carried at least a double A three or double A minus rating uh, in, in by one of the rating agencies and, and all three of those deals, um, you know, are examples of that. Um, and again, you know, uh, to most of those three transactions were also taxable. There was a tax exempt component to Stratford, but uh, Haverstraw and Triton were both taxable as well. Yeah, great insights and in showing how uh, those, some of those taxable investors now are people who are less familiar with the muni market and so plays a higher value on insurance as, a, as an extra a level of security. Um, so uh, as, we, as you mentioned, uh, a lot of deals were pulled forward to the election. December ended up maybe being a little busier than people thought, but it is starting to wind down. Next week will probably be the last uh, full week of activity. What, uh, what are you looking forward to on that calendar? Yeah, next week. Uh, next week, hopefully, should be uh, the last of uh, the heavy activity. And and next week, you know, with the headline number around nine or ten billion or so in supply, uh, it is still pretty concentrated. There's going to be a ton of action in New York. Um, you know, a billion and a half uh, taxable New York City GOs is going to be priced by Jeffries. Um, UDC pits are going to be in the market with about two point one billion uh, competitively across six series. Uh, so that'll have a lot of uh, a lot of attention on it. Um, so, you know, pretty concentrated in, uh, in, in that kind of realm. Um, you know, you've also got 800 million Connecticut GEOs. Uh, New Hampshire is going to be selling state GEOs competitively. You don't see that very often. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it'll be uh, a little bit quiet on the, um, you know, on the broader side, but with those bigger deals um, for, for the market to chew on, uh, it'll still be a pretty active week. Um, next week, uh, BAM's going to uh, schedule to price um, $42 million for Fort Wayne uh, Redevelopment Authority in Indiana. Um, that's going to be priced by Stiefel. Um, and then away from that, we'll, uh, you know, we'll have a handful of other deals uh, and, and be focused on some of the stuff coming competitively. Great. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, we will uh, we'll report at least one more time before the end of the year. We'll see you next week and uh, have a good weekend. Great. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM-insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM-eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.